Rumble. The Women's Royal Rumble, a lot less is known because in the Women's Royal Rumble match, only five participants have been named. The Women's Royal Rumble match confirmed Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, Sarah Logan, and Natalia. That's it. You have to imagine you're going to have NXT representation. You have to imagine you're going to have legends showing up. As happens, you know, in the, in the Women's Royal Rumble match, as we've seen many a time before. So, what does that mean? What does that all mean for us? Well, it means that I can come up with a few different scenarios of my own. I can come up with my own top five outcomes that I want to see in the Women's Royal Rumble match. The first, my number one pick, I believe is a safe pick. My number one pick, I believe, is actually pretty likely to happen. A lot of people were surprised that Shayna Baszler has been on NXT TV. She's in the Women's uh, Battle Royal a couple weeks ago, and she's had a couple other appearances. They thought that she was going to lose to Rhea Ripley and then ride off into the sunset and end up maybe on Raw or SmackDown or maybe as a surprise appearance in the Royal Rumble. I believe that the reason Shayna Baszler has been on NXT TV is because She's going to be a surprise appearance in the Royal Rumble. I think if Shayna Baszler had just disappeared, everybody would have known she's going to be in the Rumble. The fact that she did not disappear, the fact she's been on NXT, I think is a red herring. I think it's the old uh, swerve, if you will. Look over here, look over here, look over here. Boom. That little Tyler Bate move. They're trying to pull it on us. Not working for me. I want to see Shayna Baszler enter the Royal Rumble win the Royal Rumble, and go on to WrestleMania to continue what she started with Becky Lynch. There are not many credible challengers to Becky Lynch's Raw Women's Championship. She's beaten just about everybody, and theoretically, in my scenario, she will have finally beaten Asuka at the Royal Rumble. Who is left to challenge Becky Lynch? The Queen of Spades. Shayna Baszler. That's who's left. Becky Lynch has never dealt with anybody on the level of Shayna Baszler before. Never. Never. That's my pick. Shayna Baszler wins the Women's Royal Rumble, moves herself to Raw, because this is different than Keith Lee. Shayna Baszler has already done everything a person can do in NXT. I don't think it discredits NXT at all for Shayna Baszler to go to the Royal Rumble, because Shayna Baszler will be going to... She already has an issue with Becky Lynch, and she's got no unturned stones in NXT. Shayna Baszler goes to the Royal Rumble because she has unfinished business with Becky Lynch. Shayna Baszler goes to the Royal Rumble because she has dominated the NXT women's division and she would like to hold a different women's championship. Shayna Baszler goes to the Royal Rumble because in November, Survivor Series ended with Becky Lynch putting Shayna Baszler through a table even though Shayna Baszler had won that match. She wins the Royal Rumble because of the reaction of the WWE Universe when Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler were nose-to-nose. That's why Shayna Baszler goes to the Royal Rumble, wins the Rumble, and wants to go mano a mano with Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. Number two, option number two for the ladies' Royal Rumble match, Sasha Banks. Hear me out on this one. Sasha Banks. Here's how this goes for me. At the show, the show of shows, the Royal Rumble, we've got Sasha uh, uh, Bailey defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans beats Bailey. We go backstage. It's not just going to be a run-in. I actually want to see the politicking happen. Sasha Banks has been tweeting about how much she loves Vince nonstop. Ever since she came back, she's been talking about how great Vince is, how much money he's giving her, her relationship with Vince, the whole nine yards. So we go backstage and we see Sasha Banks politicking with Vince McMahon himself. Sasha Banks politicking with Mr. McMahon. And Mr. McMahon decides to allow Bailey, who is no longer the champion, and Sasha Banks to both be in the women's Royal Rumble match. 
the match comes down to Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Shayna Baszler. Bailey and Sasha Banks go after Shayna. Sasha Banks steps back. Bailey is actually able to eliminate Shayna Baszler. Strike that. Strike that right now. Because I don't want there to even be a seed of doubt. Halfway through the match, Sasha eliminates Bailey. We don't even wait till the end. We don't even wait till the final three. Bailey doesn't make it for no reason whatsoever, just because the opportunity presented itself. Bailey eliminates Sarah Logan. She's sitting there on the rope, catching her breath. Sasha Banks scoops her up and throws her over the top rope. Sorry, honey. All's fair in love and war. Sasha Banks wins the Royal Rumble after eliminating Bailey. Sasha Banks goes to SmackDown. She tells Vince, I don't want to wait until WrestleMania. I want that match now. I want my match with Lacey Evans. I want it at Elimination Chamber. Lacey Evans says, I'll fight you right now, Sasha. I'll fight you tonight. No, we can wait till Elimination Chamber. We have the Sasha Banks-Lacey Evans title match at Elimination Chamber. Sasha Banks wins the SmackDown Women's Championship at Elimination Chamber. Bailey is now starting to develop some sympathy because of what Sasha did to her, starting with what Sasha did to her at the Royal Rumble. And her character morphs into a nice middle ground between the overly positive, hug it out, Bailey, and the overly negative, I'm bitter about everything, Bailey. Bailey returns to just being a person. She keeps her hair the way it is. She keeps her outfit the way it is. She keeps her theme the way it is. She does not bring back the Bailey buddies. No side ponytails. No hugging. She's an adult, damn it. But she's a relatable adult. She's a cool adult. She's an adult that you actually want to hang with. Bailey becomes a good guy again. Not in the same way Bailey was before, but in a new way. It's the new version of Bailey as a good guy. And that version of Bailey, whoops, that version of Bailey wins the Elimination Chamber match. Uh-oh. Guess what? She doesn't want Becky Lynch. She wants revenge on Sasha Banks. Now we leave the Elimination Chamber and we head to WrestleMania with Bailey, who has finally found herself for real this time, chasing the evil betrayer, Sasha Banks, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Sasha Banks, pick number two. Pick number three for the Royal Rumble. It's just something I'd like to see. It's a returning Paige. I'd be happy with Paige versus Becky Lynch or Paige versus Bailey. Paige versus Bailey might make a little bit more sense. You wouldn't have to turn Bailey uh, into a good guy after all. You just have Paige going after the evil Bailey, and Paige can win the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania and have a big uh, parade. If Paige is healthy enough to compete. She can be a mystery uh, addition to the Royal Rumble, and she can win. My number four pick, and this is another obvious one, if she is available and interested, baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey returning to the Royal Rumble, to the Women's Royal Rumble match, the same spot where she debuted two years prior Ronda Rousey winning that match and going on to WrestleMania one year later to get her revenge on Becky Lynch. And I would build the Ronda Rousey-Becky Lynch match almost like the Rock-John Cena match where you really start to drift into shoot territory. I would I would talk about the fact that Becky, that, that, that Ronda's shoulders weren't down. I would talk about, I would have Becky say that Ronda can't work. I would, you know, all kinds of stuff. I mean, really get personal, really dig deep, and really tell a story with this one. Ronda Rousey is my pick. And my number five pick, and I'm surprised this isn't more people's pick, is a woman who is in the five that are listed as officially competing in this match. My number five pick is Charlotte. And the reason my number five pick is Charlotte, and I would put Charlotte with Bailey, not with 
Becky. We've seen Charlotte versus Becky enough. But I picked Charlotte because this would be the third Women's Royal Rumble match. Asuka won the first. Becky Lynch won the second. At some point, we've got to give Charlotte a Royal Rumble win. She's going to go down as maybe the best women's superstar in the WWE of all time. At some point, she's got to win a Royal Rumble, and that's the only reason why she's my number five. But she is number five on that list. I think the story I'm in love with the most is the Sasha Banks story, but that's because it's so detailed. Shayna Baszler's still number one. So, and, and, let's not forget, while I don't know that I necessarily see her winning the match, Nia Jax. Nia Jax possibly making a surprise appearance in this year's Royal Rumble. 